Chances against renegades were pretty good, but now I'm not so sure. This war with the Can I ask for a favor? Mission accomplished. Shh. Do you know what that is, Aiden? Uh, it looks like uh, mouse turds, buckshot. Dios, que triste. These are eggs, Aiden. You have some really small chickens. Fish eggs. Belugas, to be exact. Straight from the Caspian Sea. Dissolving on your tongue, you taste the waves of a black, deep sea in a faraway land. The world is full of beautiful things, beautiful sensations. Pretty boys and pretty girls. But humorless grunts don't notice that. What do you mean? You can't be obsessed with political machinations and enjoy the beauty of life at the same time. Who do you mean? The Jack Mats and Aidens of the world. Such a shame you picked the wrong team. Only team I'm on is my own. Sounds lonely. I'm not a fan of loneliness, you see. 
Did Matt reveal to you what he'll do with those lamps in a place without power? And how he plans to carry out this suicidal mission? As I thought, take this and call him. Tell him the lamps will be delivered to the TV station. Matt, the lamps are ready. Got it, Aiden. Good work. I hope Juan didn't give you any trouble. Well, Juan? Yeah, he barks a little, but I can handle him. Good approach. Rabbit dogs must be kept at bay. And when they try to bite, put them out of their misery. Aiden, it's time we meet and talk about how to take that damn antenna. Wait for my signal. Roger. <sighs> that. Well, I hope you like taking orders, Aiden. Because Jack loves giving them. Stay close to your radio. You'll be informed of the meeting shortly. Take care of these two for me, will you? Just let me rest. Some of us have been up all night. Something to show you. I know about you. You help people. I, I help people sometimes, yeah. I'll pay you, of course. I can't afford it. This is all mine. Mine and my dad's. Not in the market for a new skirt, but... You know what, sure. Tell me what you need. Okay. But this is just between you and me. Can't let dad find out. Oh, so it's his money you plan on spending. Nonsense. I'm trying to stop Dad's girlfriend from spending his money. Elena. She's got him wrapped around her finger. They've only been together a month and she's gone through his savings already. He's even mortgaged the shop. She has to be stopped, or we'll have nothing left. Take this. It's all I have. If this goes any further, she'll kill him. Wait, wait what? Kill him? Like she did several so-called boyfriends before him. All fallen dead shortly after falling for her. Do you have proof? How about four bodies? All her exes except the last one. His name is Josh. Managed to escape her clutches alive. He can tell you all about her, I bet. Find Josh. Ask him. It may be the only way to save my father from his own stupidity. Where can I find Josh? Spends a lot of time at Frank's. Half in the bag. Usually after sunset. But I bet he can prove Elena is a killer. Hey, so there's this thing.
I stay out too long, I get the feeling that there's no one left in the city. Come on, tell me more. Ader? Is that you? Hello, Pilgrim. This is my son. Oh yeah, this is Aiden. I think we met when your dad was sick. Um, how's it going, Oya? Get lost. Oh yeah. Sorry about that. He's having a hard time. A lot's changed for us. And what happened? You see, Patricia and I have separated. And once I've recovered, the first thing I wanted to do was get that motherfucker. <sighs> Sorry, kid. Cover your ears. You mean that motherfucking waltz? You've cursed like that a hundred times in front of me. Yeah, him. Uh, Patricia had asked me not to. But I wanted revenge on waltz for killing my men. For killing Lucas. And him escaping punishment, you know? Well, did you get him? Nah. A few days after I was walking again, I started looking for him. And Patricia pleaded with me, but... When I returned home after a few days, I found it empty. Patricia had moved out and taken the boys with her. Most of their things were gone. All I found was a letter. Just a few words, really. <laughs> Apparently, while I was stationed in old Villador, Patricia had made contact with her ex-husband. I've no idea what she saw in a stuffy old teacher. He's only our teacher. Jeez, Dad. Oh, yeah. Look, I know you're only trying to protect your mother. Although, to be fair, they aren't living together. I don't know what's going on. Mum left because she was tired of it all. She'd had enough. Yeah, that's true. More than enough, I suppose. Uncertainty, fear for me. Wondering whether I'd come back alive. But now I've only got one goal. To get my family back. I know how you feel. Sometimes, in our rush toward our goals, we forget about the people around us. You've been running around, looking for someone this whole time, haven't you? Yes, my sister. Waltz may know something about her. I hope you don't lose yourself. Like I have. Patricia won't talk to me. Or yeah, well, you can see for yourself. Only my youngest gives me the time of day. I'm teaching him how to handle weapons. But 
being with them makes me stronger. I won't take any more of your time. I wish you the best, Dater. Wait. Remember Lazarus? It's a solid weapon. And it's unlikely to be of any use to me anymore. I was supposed to kill Waltz with it. You do it for me. You can bet I will. Bye, Oyer. Get lost. Did you hear about the Pilgrim? Word on the rooftops is Matt Does your mother ever talk crew. about me? Did she left a coat? I'm looking for Josh. Why? Thick of your teeth? He not here. Thank God. Oh, anything else I can do for you? After you bring the coat. Good seeing you. Looks. Just look on mine, okay? It's crazy all the time because of you. I've never believed in my crowd. You know what, Josh? I'm looking for him. Buy me a shot. Maybe I'll remember something. First info. Another shot and you'll be completely worthless. Josh, he gotta be swimming in booze somewhere around here. Either that or fist deep in someone's face. It's been 11 years since the chemical violence has killed everyone in this city. I swear to God, it's still the first thing I think of. Aw, oh, don't act so offended. I was paying your tits a compliment. How about I pay your balls a compliment with my shoe? Everything all right? There you are. You aren't gonna admit it and dick for brains here starts hitting on me. Sorry, my dude. I, I was just making sure your girl was safe. So where is your boyfriend? At the bar, buying me a beer. Go ahead, buy yourself one too. Haven't seen you here before. Where are you from? Nowhere that matters. I'm looking for a friend. You ran across a guy named Josh. It's regular, I hear. Rings a bell. What do you want with him? Uh, just swap stories of our love lives. Could swap a few of those myself. But sure, if I see him, I'll let you know. Way he smacks folks around, he knows he's not wanted in the bar. Take care. Hey, eat your beer. No worries, I got it. Living the high life, aren't you? I heard you mention Josh. Try the roof, man. <laughs> Thanks. When I die, I want to be burned to ash and scattered on the street with the rest Whoa. of the family. Whoa. Is my guardian angel. Guardian angel? If you hadn't helped with the renegades, I'd be out of work right now, or worse. <laughs> That's more Matt's doing. Hey, don't be modest. I'm the house. I'm Nicholas. So you know Frank well? Not old military buds well, but well enough to know back then he was a big shot. A special forces commando, a night runner, quite the high-ranking mucky muck. Until one mission, he led people into the television tower, ended in a massacre. After that, he ditched the uniform and started the fisheye, took out a new lease on life, but he became a haunted man. Frank relives that tower mission, start to bloody finish every day. The booze helps him get through it all. I've seen him on a bender. Drinking like that isn't helping him get through anything. Then imagine what he's like when he's not drinking. So, how do things work in this place? The fisheye? They work better than anyone predicted when Frank set up shop. Two days and the peacekeepers were taken over or the renegades will blow it up. And nobody blew anything up. It's the safest place around by far. Neutral turf. Even bandits come here just to hash out deals over booze. Anyone can relax without the threat of violence. Rivalries are checked at the door. That's a good place to have. Tell me about Luan. Frank says women like her were given call signs based on cocktails. Bloody Mary, Margarita Rocks. Lawan is hot shit with a hot temper. You do not want to get on her bad side. Cross her once and that's it. Game over. I gotta go. Wait. You interested in making a bit of money? And how would I do that? It's a simple job. There's a metro station under the fisheye. 
Used to be UV lamps in the metro that kept the infected at bay. But they stop working because every tunnel and station is infested. What happened? Might be the lamps, but I doubt it. We've replaced them recently. Maybe something cut the cables. But what? It's not like the infected bit through them. It'd take a lot of biters to accomplish that. On the other hand, heard a couple stories like that. About infected who work together. Somehow coordinated. As if they're smarter than we think. Once, this guy at the bar told me he fell into a trap. He claimed a group of biters herded him into a dead end in a dark zone, intentionally. They didn't act like a typical mindless swarm. Said he only managed to survive by climbing onto a trash bin to reach a fire escape above the pack. But no, I wouldn't put much faith in that. If that were possible, I think we'd see it more often. Could be a blown fuse. Best bet would be to start at the electrical room. So, you want me to turn on the lamps? Yeah, get to the electrical room. For all we know, could just be a blown fuse. If so, you could just reset the main power supply from there. Before you go, got a little something that'll help you out. A house specialty. Guaranteed to warm those biters' bellies. Just a bit of house food, a bottle and an old rag. But powerful stuff. Or you can always just sneak in past the biters if you don't want to make a ruckus. Once you turn on the UVs, they'll fry anyway. And you won't end up wasting good hooch. All right, I'll take care of it. Aiden, remember to go there after dark. During the day, it's filled with nasties. Yeah, thanks. Good luck down there. You're Aiden? They're waiting for you. Come on. The meeting's in the VIP room. The mood's friendly, like fucking Christmas at my family home. Who do you think you are, you fucking liar? Calm down, Jack. Before you pop a vessel. This plan is total shit. Do better. How about this? Do nothing. It's definitely simple. Commander, isn't it high time we put this shit before a firing squad? Wow. The dog started barking. Guess I better behave. All right, whoa, fellas. You brought me here to plan something, right? Aiden, these are the VNC tower plans. Once we get the power back on, we can re-establish communication. People throughout the city will learn about our mission. They'll be able to join in and help us. So, you plan on broadcasting propaganda? Whatever it takes to defend against the renegades. When the Butcher sees how strong we are, He'll retreat. We'll prevent war. However, there are a few matters we need to take care of first. The whole district is powered by an electrical substation. I was gonna send a squad to turn it on, but I heard you already did that. Good job, kid. Too bad you handed it over to the civilians. We could've used it. Doesn't matter now, Roe. 